Hello everyone, Princess Casserole here, and I figured I would do a quick video to show you how I am going to, how I package my um, items that go out. So I just sold this absolutely stunning Christian Dior brooch, and it is going to somebody and I want to make it special because it was one of my um, pricier items because this is a beautiful and perfect piece. I got it from somebody who um, their estate, I don't think the lady ever wore anything. So I am reusing the thread up boxes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this. Not perfect, but it's fine. And I'm also going to stamp it with um, my thank you stamp. Ah. There we go. Much better. So, I don't know if that adds much, but <laughs> I kind of like the way that it looks. So, we're going to keep it. So, it matches the way that I've started doing my thank you cards. Actually, I had extra bubble wrap out, but I think I'm going to use this. So, I always bubble wrap because I have... I get it kind of I wouldn't say for free but I reuse a lot and and get some as well so I'm gonna put this guy in here and I usually just kind of wrap it like that even though he's going in a box definitely want to make sure that it's nice and protected and if, God forbid, any rhinestones fall out and they have to return it, hopefully it will be inside of here. So that at least I could, you know, repair it. So I'm going to put that one in there. And I think I'm going to send this little guy out as well with it. It's not signed or anything, but I think it goes well. With that brooch so for this guy I'm just gonna cut off a little piece this is my little packaging area right now I'm trying to make it a little bit more organized but it works for now So, just gonna package him up too, so he should be able to fit in nicely here, and to put this over it, and it's nice and packaged. I'm going to get this bonus hair off. <laughs> um, so, I have been using all my thread up boxes. And I am also dipping into my fancy dollar store um, tissue paper. Because I always wrap these in tissue paper. We're going to use. Fancy of wrapping paper. This was like a dollar for this whole thing. But it's pretty. It's a very pretty, pretty paper. So I'm going to cut it, I think, like here. It should be fine. I'm 
cutting all the way through because I should be able to then use it for other packages. And I know every dollar store is different, but a lot of them do have a very nice tissue paper that you can use. to get really fancy you can put the gray underneath maybe I will it's my scale too I'm gonna move him out of the way but this should work yeah I'm gonna put the gray on too pretty light, but hopefully it'll give us enough coverage. Alright. So then, it's difficult doing things around the uh, I use this guy. My husband gave it to me. This is a really big tape dispenser and it is very handy. You know, I might, should I tape that too? It'll be fine. There we go. I am just folded in here, so we're gonna go with that. No one said I was good at this. This is a different tissue paper than I usually use, so it's actually a lot thinner than the other tissue paper I normally use. I don't know why I did this, because this one has not a lot here. I did this thing where we volunteered <laughs> to wrap gifts and the money went to hospice and I was so bad at it. I'm not very good at wrapping gifts. It'll look fine in the end. Just gotta gotta work with it until until you get it. There we go. And the other side. Ah. I don't like that little gray tissue coming out. Okay, so then it looks like this. And then I like to use this. So what I've been doing is using cardstock that I had, just um, a heavy, heavy um, paper and stamping on them and just writing on the back a thank you note. So,
so. Then I will put it on here and take some twine. It's just a ball of twine, but this one's a nice, nice ball of twine. And a cut, nice large piece. This actually was left over from my wedding. And I start here. Try to, to make sure it's somewhat even. And then turn it around like this. So it looks like that when they get it, and there's nothing moving along inside, and I used the bubble mailers to put it inside. And throw it in. So it's all nice contained and that way if something presses on it it should be it should hold not have a problem and then I take these guys off and with like this one I fold it down so that it's a little smaller so that it's not gonna move around as much so looks like that. And then I will tape here. To make sure it's nice and secure and not, not coming out. And that's how I package these ones. And I also have these lovely earrings going out. These are a really cool pair of Ancline clip-on earrings, and they're in really nice shape. Just checking everything over. Before I send them out. Yep, everything looks good. So I am going to um, just bubble wrap these guys. Here we go. And put it in here like this. And in half like this. This one is to Poshmark. Um, she actually reminds me I gotta take these off of Etsy. <laughs> um, I don't cross post a lot, but these I thought were really cool, and uh, since they were designer, I thought I would put them on either or. So these I'm gonna tape, and I think I'm gonna take the tape at the top here. Maybe I'll put a little bit. I dropped some, so I'm gonna put this on the top just for extra protection so I'll take a little piece here and here just like to make sure these get there really safe and secure so and these ones I am just going to wrap in tissue. So I will cut it. I love having pre-cut pieces. It makes it so much easier. I'm 
sure there's easier ways to wrap this, but again, I am not that great at this. So this wasn't super cheap. Let me actually put a little ribbon on it too. So I have this ribbon. I actually kind of think the color matches, even though this is peach. I have a whole bunch of vintage ribbon. So I do the same thank you note for Posh or for Etsy. There we go. So then I'm going to slip this guy in. This one, I think I can't do that because um, I don't have enough room for the print out of the tag if I make it any smaller. But I'll still put that on and then put the thing on the front here. And that's the way I, I ship these. So, if anyone has any questions or comments, about how um, they package up, let me know. Um, so this was the other one that I used, a uh, blue one from the, they're both from the dollar store. If anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I have only been doing this not even a whole year yet, so I am sure there are other people who have great ideas and tips and tricks that they use for doing their packages for jewelry. So if you would please put them down below. I'm sure we would all love to hear them. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.